The final words spoken by famous individuals often carry a profound weight, offering a glimpse into their thoughts and feelings at the end of their remarkable lives. From humorous quips to poignant reflections, these last utterances provide a fascinating window into the minds of some of history's most iconic figures. Number one, Ludwig van Beethoven. Ludwig van Beethoven, the legendary German composer and pianist, is known for his incredible contributions to classical music. On his deathbed in 1827, Beethoven's final words were reportedly, too bad, too late. In reference to a delayed wine delivery, he had been eagerly anticipating. This seemingly trivial statement belies the immense suffering Beethoven endured in his later years as he grappled with deafness and illness. Despite his physical challenges, Beethoven's music continues to inspire and move audiences around the world. Cementing his status as one of the greatest composers of all time, his last words serve as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit can find moments of levity and joy. Number two, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin, the iconic silent film actor and filmmaker, was known for his comedic genius and his ability to bring laughter and joy to audiences around the world. On his deathbed in 1977, Chaplin was visited by a priest who reportedly said, may the Lord have mercy on your soul. Chaplin's response was characteristically witty and irreverent. Why not? After all, it belongs to him. This final exchange showcases Chaplin's quick wit and his ability to find humor even in the most serious of situations. Chaplin's legacy as one of the most influential figures in the history of cinema continues to inspire filmmakers and audiences alike, and his last words serve as a testament to his enduring spirit and his commitment to entertaining others until the very end. Number three. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, the Italian Renaissance polymath whose work spanned art, science, and engineering, is widely regarded as one of the most brilliant minds in human history. On his deathbed in 1519, da Vinci is said to have expressed regret and disappointment with his life's work, stating, I have insulted God and humanity. My work never reached the quality it should have had. This sentiment is particularly poignant coming from a man whose contributions to art and science have had an immeasurable impact on the world. From the Mona Lisa to his groundbreaking anatomical studies, da Vinci's work continues to inspire and influence artists and scientists to this day. His last words serve as a reminder that even the most accomplished individuals may harbor doubts and regrets about their achievements and that the pursuit of perfection is a never-ending journey. Number four. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, the renowned theoretical physicist and one of the most influential scientists of the 20th century, had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. In his final days in 1955, Einstein faced death with a philosophical outlook, reportedly saying, I will go when I want to. It is tasteless to prolong life artificially. I've done my part and it is time to go. I will do this elegantly. These words reflect Einstein's belief in accepting the natural course of life and death and his desire to maintain dignity and control over his own passing. Einstein also uttered something in German that the American nurse attending to him could not understand, leaving a mystery as to his true final thoughts. Regardless, Einstein's contributions to science, including his groundbreaking theories of relativity and his exploration of the nature of space and time, continue to shape our understanding of the universe and inspire new generations of scientists to push the boundaries of human knowledge. Number five, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, the undisputed king of pop, left an indelible mark on the music industry and popular culture. In his final moments in 2009, Jackson's last words were reportedly, I'd like some milk, please, please give me some more, referring to the anesthesia medication propofol. He said, please, please give me some milk so that I can sleep because I know that this is all that really works for me. These seemingly innocuous words took on a tragic significance in light of the circumstances surrounding his death, which was later ruled a homicide due to the excessive administration of propofol by his personal physician.
Jackson's passing sent shockwaves around the world as fans mourned the loss of a musical icon whose influence spanned genres and generations. From his early days as a child star with the Jackson 5 to his record-breaking solo career, Jackson's music and dancing captivated audiences and inspired countless artists who followed in his footsteps. His last words serve as a haunting reminder of the complex and often troubled life of a man whose talent and fame brought him both adoration and scrutiny. Number six, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, the German writer, statesman, and philosopher, is considered one of the most important figures in Western literature. On his deathbed in 1832, Goethe's last words are often cited as more light, which has been interpreted as a metaphorical plea for enlightenment and understanding. However, some scholars suggest that Goethe may have actually been asking his servant to open the shutters as he lay in a dimly lit room. Regardless of the true meaning behind his final utterance, Goethe's impact on literature, art, and philosophy cannot be overstated. His works, including the play Faust and the novel The Sorrows of Young Werther, explored themes of love, nature, and the human condition, and continue to be widely read and studied to this day. Goethe's last words, whether a profound philosophical statement or a simple request for more light, serve as a fitting end to a life dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and the exploration of the human experience. Number seven, Thomas Edison. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce Mr. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, the prolific American inventor and businessman, is best known for his development of the electric light bulb, the phonograph, and the motion picture camera. As he lay on his deathbed in 1931, Edison's last words were reportedly, it's very beautiful over there. Some believe that Edison was referring to the view from his window, while others interpret his statement as a glimpse into his thoughts about the afterlife. Regardless of the intended meaning, Edison's final words reflect a sense of peace and acceptance in the face of death. Throughout his life, Edison's relentless curiosity and determination led to countless innovations that transformed modern society. His legacy as one of the most influential inventors in history continues to inspire new generations of innovators to push the boundaries of what is possible. Edison's last words serve as a reminder that even in our final moments, we can find beauty and wonder in the world around us. Number eight, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, the visionary co-founder of Apple Inc., revolutionized the technology industry with his innovative products and design philosophy. In his final moments in 2011, Jobs' last words were simply, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. And his dying words were, and this is reported by his sister who was right at the bedside. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. And he was... Jobs was looking out across the room at something. These enigmatic words have been the subject of much speculation, with some interpreting them as an expression of awe and wonder at what lay beyond, while others see them as a final reflection on a life well lived. Jobs' impact on the world of technology cannot be overstated, as his vision and leadership transformed the way we interact with computers, smartphones, and digital media. From the Apple II to the iPhone, Jobs' products not only redefined entire industries, but also shaped the way we live and work. His last words, while cryptic, serve as a powerful reminder of the sense of wonder and possibility that drove his life and work. Number nine, Karl Marx. Karl Marx, the German philosopher, economist, and revolutionary socialist, is best known for his influential theories on capitalism, communism, and class struggle. In a fitting reflection of his life's work, Marx's last words were reportedly, last words are for fools who haven't said enough. This statement encapsulates Marx's belief in the power of ideas and the importance of taking action to bring about social and political change. Throughout his life, Marx's writings, including The Communist Manifesto and Das Kapital, laid the foundation for socialist and communist movements around the world and continue to be studied and debated to this day. While his ideas remain controversial, there is no denying the profound impact that Marx's work has had on modern political and economic thought. 
His last words serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of standing up for one's beliefs and working tirelessly to create a better world. Number 10. Adolf Hitler Adolf Hitler, the notorious dictator of Nazi Germany, is responsible for some of the most heinous crimes in human history, including the systematic murder of millions of Jews and other minority groups during the Holocaust. In his final days in 1945, as Allied forces closed in on his bunker in Berlin, Hitler's last known words were a chilling reflection of his hateful ideology. In his last will and testament, Hitler blamed the Jews for the war and called for their complete annihilation, labeling them as world poisoners of all peoples. These despicable words, along with his final actions, include alongside his longtime partner Eva Braun, serve as a disturbing reminder of the depths of human cruelty and the devastating consequences of hate and prejudice. Hitler's legacy as one of history's most reviled figures serves as a stark warning of the dangers of unchecked power, propaganda, and scapegoating. His last words, while abhorrent, underscore the importance of learning from the past and working to build a world free from hatred and discrimination. Number 11. Charles Darwin Charles Darwin, the British naturalist and geologist, is best known for his groundbreaking theory of evolution by natural selection. In his final days in 1882, Darwin faced death with a sense of calm and acceptance, reportedly stating, I am not the least afraid of dying. These words reflect Darwin's lifelong dedication to the pursuit of scientific truth, even in the face of opposition and controversy. Throughout his life, Darwin's meticulous observations and rigorous research laid the foundation for the modern understanding of the natural world, revolutionizing fields ranging from biology to geology. His seminal work, On the Origin of Species, remains one of the most influential scientific texts of all time and continues to shape our understanding of the complex web of life on Earth. Darwin's last words serve as a testament to his unwavering commitment to reason and evidence and his belief in the power of science to illuminate the mysteries of the natural world. Number 12. John F. Kennedy John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, is remembered as a charismatic leader whose life was tragically cut short by an assassin's bullet in 1963. Just moments before his death, Kennedy's last recorded words were a response to a comment made by his wife, First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, who had remarked, You certainly cannot say that the people of Dallas haven't given you a nice welcome. Kennedy's final reply was, No, you certainly can't. These words, while seemingly mundane, took on a haunting significance in the aftermath of his assassination, which shocked the nation and the world. Throughout his short but impactful presidency, Kennedy faced a series of crises, including the Bay of Pigs invasion and the Cuban Missile Crisis, and worked to advance civil rights and space exploration. His last words, spoken in the moments before his death, serve as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring impact of a leader's legacy. Number 13, Malcolm X. Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate? You should ask who your... Malcolm X, the influential African-American minister and human rights activist, was a powerful voice in the struggle for black liberation and equality. In 1965, while delivering a speech at the Audubon Ballroom in New York City, Malcolm X was tragically assassinated. His last words spoken to his assailants were, brothers, brothers, please, this is a house of peace. These words reflect Malcolm X's commitment to the principles of peace and unity, even in the face of violence and adversity. Throughout his life, Malcolm X's message of self-determination and racial pride inspired a generation of activists and helped to shape the course of the civil rights movement. While his views on race and politics evolved over time, his unwavering dedication to the cause of justice and equality remained constant. Malcolm X's last words serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of compassion and understanding, even in the midst of struggle and conflict. Number 14, Tupac Shakur. 
Tupac Shakur, the iconic rapper and actor, left an indelible mark on the world of hip hop and popular culture. In 1996, Shakur was shot multiple times in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada. His last words, spoken to a police officer who asked him, who shot you, were, me, you're the one who shot me. These words, while cryptic, reflect Shakur's complex relationship with law enforcement and his belief that he was targeted for his outspoken political views and activism. Throughout his short but impactful career, Shakur's music and poetry addressed themes of social justice, racism, and inequality, and continued to inspire new generations of artists and activists. His last words serve as a haunting reminder of the violence that claimed his life and the enduring legacy of his art and activism. Number 15. James Brown. James Brown, the legendary singer, songwriter, and performer, is widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the history of popular music. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. In 2006, Brown fell ill with pneumonia and died on Christmas Day. His last words, spoken to his longtime manager, were, I'm going away tonight. These words, while simple, reflect Brown's acceptance of his own mortality and his belief in an afterlife. Throughout his career, Brown's electrifying performances and innovative musical style earned him the title of the Godfather of Soul, and his influence can be heard in countless genres, from funk and hip-hop to rock and pop. His last words serve as a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the enduring power of music to touch the soul. Number 16. Babe Ruth Babe Ruth, the legendary baseball player and cultural icon, is widely regarded as one of the greatest athletes of all time. That was the year the Babe knocked out 60 home runs, and the Yankees won the series in four straight games. His incredible talent, charisma, and larger-than-life personality made him a beloved figure both on and off the baseball field. In 1948, as he battled terminal cancer, Ruth's last words were a poignant reflection on his own mortality. I'm going over the valley, he said, perhaps alluding to the idea of crossing over to the afterlife. These words, spoken by a man who had achieved unparalleled success and fame, serve as a reminder of the universal human experience of facing death. Throughout his career, Ruth's accomplishments on the baseball diamond were nothing short of extraordinary. His record-breaking achievements, including his 714 career home runs, set the standard for excellence in sports and continue to inspire athletes and fans alike. Ruth's impact on the game of baseball cannot be overstated, as he helped to usher in the era of the home run and transform the sport into a national pastime. Off the field, Ruth's magnetic personality and love of life made him a celebrity and cultural icon, beloved by millions of Americans. His last words, while somber, reflect the courage and grace with which he faced his final days and the enduring legacy of a life lived to the fullest. Number 17. Elvis Presley Elvis Presley, the undisputed king of rock and roll, left an indelible mark on popular music and culture. His unique blend of musical styles, charismatic stage presence, and rebellious image revolutionized the entertainment industry and paved the way for generations of rock and roll artists. In 1977, Presley died suddenly at his Graceland mansion in Memphis, Tennessee, shocking fans around the world. His last words, spoken to his fiancée Ginger Alden, were, I'm going to the bathroom to read. These mundane words took on a tragic significance in light of his untimely death, which occurred shortly thereafter. Throughout his career, Presley's impact on popular culture was immeasurable. His music, which blended elements of blues, gospel, and country, captured the hearts of millions and helped to bridge the racial divide in America. His electrifying performances, characterized by his signature hip gyrations and powerful vocals, set a new standard for live entertainment and inspired countless imitators. Presley's influence extended beyond music, as he also achieved success as an actor and became a fashion icon, known for his flashy stage costumes and distinctive style. His last words, while seemingly ordinary, 
serve as a reminder of the unexpected nature of death and the importance of cherishing every moment of life, even in the midst of fame and success. Number 18, Bessie Smith. Bessie Smith, the influential blues singer and songwriter, was a pioneering figure in the development of American music. Her powerful voice, emotive performances, and raw, honest lyrics earned her the title of the Empress of the Blues and made her one of the most important artists of her generation. In 1937, Smith was critically injured in a car accident in Mississippi and died shortly thereafter. Her last words, spoken to a bystander who had come to her aid, were, I'm going, but I'm going in the name of the Lord. These words reflect Smith's deep faith and her belief in the power of music to connect with the divine. Throughout her career, Smith's music gave voice to the experiences of African Americans, particularly women, in the early 20th century. Her songs, which often dealt with themes of love, heartbreak, and social injustice, were a powerful expression of the human condition and helped to lay the foundation for future generations of blues, jazz, and R and B artists. Smith's influence can be heard in the work of countless musicians, from Billie Holiday and Mahalia Jackson to Janis Joplin and Aretha Franklin. Her last words serve as a testament to the enduring power of music to provide comfort, meaning, and spiritual uplift, even in the face of tragedy and adversity. Number 19, Eileen Warnos. Eileen Warnos, the notorious American serial killer, was executed by lethal injection in 2002 for the murder of six men. Her last words, spoken just before her execution, were a rambling and cryptic statement that reflected her troubled state of mind. I just like to say I'm sailing with the rock and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus, June 6th. Like the movie, Big Mothership and all, I'll be back, she said. These words, while difficult to interpret, suggest a belief in an afterlife and a sense of salvation, despite the horrific nature of her crimes. Throughout her life, Warno suffered from a range of mental health issues and was a victim of abuse and trauma. Her story, while tragic and disturbing, highlights the complex interplay of personal responsibility and societal failures that can lead to violent behavior. Warnos's last words serve as a haunting reminder of the human capacity for both evil and redemption and the ongoing struggle to understand and prevent acts of violence. Number 20, other notable last words. Throughout history, many other famous figures have uttered memorable last words that offer a glimpse into their final thoughts and experiences. These words, while brief, often carry a profound weight and serve as a testament to the enduring impact of their lives and legacies. Wilson Misner, the American playwright and raconteur, faced death with his characteristic wit and humor. His last words spoken to his nurse were, I've been dead for ages. This is the first time I've ever been sick. These words reflect Misner's irreverent spirit and his ability to find comedy even in the darkest of moments. Bo Diddley, the influential rock and roll pioneer, faced death with a sense of peace and acceptance. His last words spoken to his daughter were, I'm going to heaven. These simple words reflect Diddley's deep faith and his belief in an afterlife and serve as a testament to the power of music to provide comfort and meaning in the face of death. Josephine Baker, the groundbreaking entertainer and civil rights activist, remained feisty and irreverent to the very end. Her last words spoken to a group of young people who were attending to her were, oh, you young people act like old men. You are no fun. These words reflect Baker's lifelong commitment to living life to the fullest and challenging societal norms and expectations. Louis Armstrong, the legendary jazz trumpeter and singer, faced death with his characteristic grace and humility. His last words spoken to his wife were, I've had a wonderful life. These words serve as a powerful reminder of the joy and fulfillment that can come from pursuing one's passions and sharing one's gifts with the world. Truman Capote, the celebrated author and socialite, faced death with a mix of vulnerability and nostalgia. His last words, spoken to his friend, Joanne Carson, were, it's me, it's Buddy, I'm cold. These words, 
which reference Capote's childhood nickname, suggest a longing for comfort and connection in his final moments, and serve as a poignant reminder of the universal human need for love and belonging. Taken together, these last words offer a fascinating glimpse into the final thoughts and experiences of some of history's most remarkable individuals. They serve as a testament to the enduring power of language to capture the essence of a life and to provide comfort, meaning, and inspiration to those who remain behind.